Now, when you're talking about competitors, again, we can't lie and we can't distort and we can't, we can't belittle in, in, a, in a cruel way. We can use benign violation, but when we talk about their failure, we are better than them is the subtext to that message. And that's why that whole superiority thing works. So I don't know if you've ever seen someone walking down the street and they trip and they stumble and, <laughs> and they, they get upset. Oh, man, what happened? And we look at them and go, laugh, you've tripped, it's funny. It's because we have that superior position of not occurring to us. Uh, was it Mel Brooks, the fabulous American uh, comedian and um, film producer and actor? He said, uh, humor or what's funny is when someone falls down a sewer. Uh, what's tragic is when you cut your finger and you bleed. So we can laugh at someone else's misfortune, superiority, but if it happens to us, it obviously is a very, very different story. So this, 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 this idea of the superiority piece is also part of the deal. Now, why we can use uh, competitor references or other references from the superiority position, it has a secondary gain, there's a secondary value to this, is that it bonds the group, all right? It's us against them. And you notice how many times people will use derogatory humor about competitors. Just go to any um, sporting event and listen to competing fans uh, talk about each other's teams. Is they playing from the superiority position? Often with humor, there's, there's a, a laughter intent. It's not totally malicious uh, until they get chemically inspired and then start flail, flailing at each other. But you can understand that that's the superior, the superior value. Now, this, the, on, the origins of superiority or some of the neg negative consequences of superiority lies in racism, sexism, ageism, and so on. It's because I am better than you. But it is a factor and a component within humor. So the story, it's, you can use the stories and give you permission, as I said, second position shift, to really say the things that could not be said directly. Using benign violation, you can go to that space to carry the message. So the idea of using humor as a presenter is not to be a comedian. It's not about being funny. 